Hey guys, sorry I haven't been recording. I've got a new laptop. If you notice, my microphone might sound a little bit nicer. And uh, I've got an iPad now. I have an Apple Watch. And I've been learning a new coding language. Mac OS Big Soul came out. As you can see, I think I'm using one of the new backgrounds and all my icons look a lot different. But there has been uh, something called SwiftUI, and uh, SwiftUI isn't what you're really used to in Xcode. By the way, I haven't mentioned I that coding language that I learned was Xcode. But storyboards and SwiftUI aren't really the same. SwiftUI is more of a code building for the user or interface, and the storyboard is more of a drag and drop interface. So. Today, we're going to be figuring out which one you should use in your app. So, first, we need to know which one is a view and a modifier. This will help us find out whether to use Storyboard or SwiftUI. Views are what make up your app. They can be a button or a shape, and they can be a lot more than just that, like an image. Or something else. A modifier is something that you can apply to these shapes such as size, color, and more. For example, I could make our circle be two times bigger than it is now with a modifier. So next, how do you apply these views and modifiers? So this is SwiftUI. SwiftUI you can change stuff in text. For example, I can change what this text says and it gets updated on our iPhone screen. But I can also apply modifiers, like dot board. Then we can see this gets reflected here too. But we also have this section where, for example, I can change the color. This is kind of like what's in storyboard, and you can't only really see white because of our background, so you can then change it to green, and it updates again. So now, you can even hit an add button to get a drag and drop interface, just like storyboard. So for example, I can search another text, and I can drag it right here. You can see, Below the iPhone, there's something that says, add a text to new vertical stack, along with the existing text. That basically means it's going to apply a vertical stack for both views to be in. You can see that update inside the code as I drop it onto the canvas. There we go. Now it's inside a stack. I can even apply modifiers to this. For example, I can make it ultra light and we can see that be reflected in our view then if i wanted to i can change it, this modifier back to black and change the font to large title there we go that's how easy it is to make a view or a ui in swift ui by that meaning views inside a ui not make a view but that's how easy it is to apply a modifier to a view. So this is storyboard. All you have to do is, for example, you can drag in a label and you can drag in a button. And there aren't any stacks in this, which is kind of cool. You can just drag it wherever you want. And I can even drag a slider on here. And uh, right here, I have all of the different things I can do with it. So, for example, I can change the color, I can change what it says. And uh, what I forgot to mention is in the SwiftUI one, on the side, they didn't have everything that the SwiftUI can do. But the cool thing about this is you can drag it wherever you want. But this may be a, make your app a little bit unorganized, but if you know what to do, this could actually be nice. I forgot about all of those. And then you have this area where you can select stuff if it's hidden. 
Wow, you even have your little safe area. So, I'm actually pretty impressed by this storyboard. I've done it before, just compared to SwiftUI, this actually is really nice. But, to connect these, because SwiftUI is basically one thing of code. Storyboards, on the other hand, you have your storyboard and your view controller. These are two different things, so you have to actually connect them. So I think what you would do is you would hit this button and uh, then you do assistance. Here we go. Now uh, all you would have to do is you would control click and uh, you would insert it right here and then I could say label and then I just hit connect and there we go so now you put that label inside the code with SwiftUI you don't really have to do this because they're all one big sheet the in storyboards they're mainly two things but now I believe you could change stuff right here so label and then you could change everything about the label and I'm actually really surprised about storyboard. So now comes to the question, which one is So before I share the results, I just want to say both of them are good. I have to say SwiftUI on this one because it just makes it so easy and uh, it's a lot faster to do it. So yeah, I'm going to choose SwiftUI. Next one. I have to say, functionality wise, storyboard is better because you can just say title, dot, or stuff like that. Or as with SwiftUI, you have to use variables and do all of that. So these two, I would actually say they're a tie. They're both easy on the UI and the code. Okay, welcome to section two. So the features, I believe, are the same. And the organization, I think, are also the same.